اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ جسے چاہے عزت دیتے ہیں اور اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ ہی جسے چاہے ذلت دیتے ہیں اور وہی ہر چیز پر قادر ہے آشکان پاکستان اور ٹیلی ویژن کی دنیا کے دوستو یہ وا ٹی وی سے خادم پاکستان اور غلام غلام رسول جان شائق آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہے ہاں ہمیشہ کی طرح آج پھر اپنے پروگرام کا ایک چھوٹا سا حصہ آپ کی خدمت میں پیش کرنے لگا ہے آج کے ہمارے پروگرام میں ہمارے یوسٹن کی جانی پہچانی شخصیت ڈاکٹر آصف قدیر صاحب جی ہاں کون نہیں جانتا ڈاکٹر آصف قدیر کو فلاحی کاموں میں سب سے آگے رہے جب میں نے ایک دفعہ کسی سے کہا تھا کہ میں یہ بیڑا لے کے چلا ہوں تو کسی نے مجھے کہا تھا یہ اس میں کامیاب نہیں ہوگے تم بہت لوگ تمہارے ساتھ اختلاف کریں گے تو میں نے جواب دیا تھا تم دیے باد مخالف سے نہ گھبرائے اوقاب یہ تو چلتی ہے تجھے اونچا اڑانے کے لیے تو پھر میں نے جواب دیا تھا ایک دن کسی اور کو میں اکیلا ہی چلا تھا جان پہ منزل مگر لوگ ساتھ آتے گئے کارواں بنتا گیا آج ہمارے کارواں میں دیکھے ہزاروں لوگ لاگ ان کرتے ہیں ہزاروں کی تعداد میں لوگ ہمارے ٹیلی ویژن نیٹ ورک کو لاگ ان کرتے ہیں ڈاکٹر قدیر صاحب کی بات ہو رہی تھی ہم تھوڑا سا ڈرفٹ ہو گئے ڈاکٹر قدیر صاحب نے الیکشن لڑا جنرل سیکٹری کا ڈاکٹروں کی آرگنائزیشن ہے سب کی ہیلپ کرتی ہے امریکہ کے اندر بہت اچھے اچھے کام امریکہ میں اور دنیا کے مختلف ممالک میں مختلف بر اعظموں میں جا کر کرتے ہیں ڈاکٹر صاحب نے بہت اچھی طرح سے الیکشن کو جیتا کچھ لوگوں اور دوستوں کے اصرار پر انہوں نے کہا ڈاکٹر صاحب آپ آپ جنرل سیکٹری تو بن گئے ہیں کہ اب آپ ایسے کیوں نہ کریں کہ نیکسٹ الیکشن میں آپ پریزیڈنٹ کا الیکشن لڑیں تو ڈاکٹر آصف قدیر صاحب نیکسٹ الیکشن میں انشاءاللہ اللہ پریزیڈنٹ کا الیکشن لڑیں گے امید کرتا ہوں کہ وہ اسی طرح سے جیتیں گے جس طرح سے اس الیکشن کو جیتے ہیں ہماری طرف سے ان کو مبارک ہو سلام کرتا ہوں ڈاکٹر صاحب آپ کی عظمت کو آپ نے غریبوں کے لیے بہت کام کیا بہت لوگوں کا ساتھ دیا چلیے دیکھیے ان کی فتح کا ایک چھوٹا سا جشن جو کہ ایک مقامی ریسٹورنٹ کے حال میں کیا گیا امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ کو پسند آئے گا اور آخر میں آپ کو یہ بتاتا چلوں جو لوگ مجھے سوال کر کے یہ پوچھتے ہیں کہ فلم کب شروع ہوگی آپ جانتے ہیں کہ میں فلم بنا رہا ہوں دی امیرکن طالبان یہ اسٹوری ایسی اسٹوری ہے کہ پاکستان کے اندر جو کچھ ہوا جو کسی ہمسایہ ملک نے مکتی بہینی سے لے کر آج تک جو کچھ کیا بلوچستان میں جو کچھ ہوا اور امیرکہ میں کیا ہو رہا ہے پاکستانی کمیونٹی کے ساتھ اس کو میں نے عکس بند کیا ہے اگر آپ اس کو اسپانسر کرنا چاہیں تو آپ کر سکتے ہیں مجھے کال کر لیجیے ٹو ایٹ ون تھری نائن فور فور تھری تھری سیون پر میرا نام ہے جان شاہ لیجیے دیکھیے ڈاکٹر قدیر صاحب کی فتح کا جشن ان کے دوست مدبرین یوسٹن کتنے خوش ہیں اس کے ساتھ یہ کہوں گا پاکستان زندہ ہو پائند آباد with the uh, all uh, committee leaders more and, and engage in more uh, committee projects. So now, first of all, I would like to ask the Mr. Well, I know of Dr. Kadeel for years and years, but a few months back, my good friend Saeed Sheikh took me to his office for some personal reasons, and I spent half a day with him, and he spoke to me everything what he has in his mind that he is going to work for to build a bridge between Pakistan and here and the physicians in this country and some of the health related work he wants to do. I don't want to take his ideas to talk here. I'll let him to do that. And I was impressed big time and I promised him and I got some of my friends from Beaumont, Dr. Tarek Aziz and Dr. Bakar and Jen Jua, Shahid and Freak and all that. And we started working. And I made so many phone calls all around Dallas, Miami, and Michigan, and New York. And I figured out that about 150 calls I made, maybe 100 people out of 150, they were not member of Abna. Or, or at least my friends, they were not member of Abna. So I talked to Dr. Kadir, I said, well, there's a big need of uh, driving uh, membership uh, drive and um, 
we need to work on that. But however, we will try to get some of the votes. But this time, for for your president elect campaign, we need to get the member, we need to make all these people to become the member. And we have talked and I'm gonna work with him. I was very much impressed about his ideas and we're gonna work inshallah together. I will help him and uh, we will make sure that he get elected and he will start working for all these ideas he promised me during my uh, visits in his office. And I found him very dedicated person. منزل پہ پہنچتے ہیں تو ایک ہزاروں ہی مسافر چلتے ہیں منزل پہ پہنچتے ہیں تو ایک اے اہل زمانہ قدر کرو نہ یاب نہ ہو کمیاب ہیں فرسٹ آف آل اٹس این آنر فور آسف ٹو ویو ان در کنسیڈر می بگ سپورٹر آسف میسیج ٹو موسٹ آف دی اپنا ممبرز تھرو آر ای میل فورمز انفارچونیٹلی دا میسیج نیٹ گو تھرو ٹو لاڈ آف پیپل بٹ It's Asif's own hard work and dedication that helped him achieve this. If you want something real hard and you work hard, Allah might just give it to you. Tao or Sin Medical or Fiber Medical, Allah might pass. All alumni uh, lend support to him all across the board. And we wish him well in the future. If he has, if he has further plan, inshallah, uh, we hope that the same spirit will prevail and you'll get a lot of support from all of us. I'd like to congratulate Dr. Asif Fadir and Dr. Shahid Rashid for winning this election. And we wish you good luck in the future also. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to discuss few things about Pakistan. Pakistan. We all know that Pakistan is going through a lot of suffering and turmoil. We all know that we cannot fix everything overnight. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm humbled by the confidence that this wide organization has been heard who participated in this election by casting your vote and maintaining the democratic impulse of Apna to forge our own destiny. All democratic elections involve politics and differences of opinion can stir passions and controversy. But now that the election is over, and I know that you will join me in working for unity in our organization, we cannot allow insignificant differences to detract us from our common goal of being a unified group of professionals, striving for the good of our members and for the good of the society in which we live. Like many of you, I have worked as a good soldier for Afna for many years. As I step into a leadership role as an officer, I recognize the contribution of all the members and the officers throughout the years and I have a real sense that in going forward, we are building on the path. To paraphrase Sir Isaac Newton, we stand on the shoulders of the giants who have worked tirelessly to build up into the fine organization it is today. And as we go forward, I believe we have to keep our vision high and continue building a legacy of action and achievement for our future generations, teaching them by example to work hard and forge to help against all adversity. We all know that many Pakistani positions in the United States and Canada, for various reasons, choose not to actively participate in UFTA. We need to do something about that. I believe giving all the Pakistani positions a significant common objective will build membership and participation. We cannot remain self-absorbed. We must reach out to the society in which we live by offering real objective benefits. A non-profit Abna Charitable Boutique Hospital is an idea whose time has come. If we 
as individuals can own hospitals and the businesses and corporations and even NFL teams, then what is keeping us from establishing a charitable hospital? A hospital that would not only serve the needs of all the people in our society, but would also provide training for future Pakistani physicians. We have enormous human and financial potential to achieve this remarkable goal. So why not? Again, I'm humbled by your confidence in electing me to an office of such a great responsibility. But I'm also proud to be your treasurer. And I will work hard to make each and every member proud of my service as an officer. Together, we can achieve great things. And I look forward to a bright future for Abna as we strive to be the best doctors, the best human being we can be. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. God bless the United States of America. God bless Pakistan. And God bless Abna. Thank you. Honorable His Excellency, Consul General of Pakistan, Abzal Mahmoud Sahib. Thank you for coming. Honorable Thayyip Javid Sahib. Thank you for coming for Bowman. Thank you, Chamber of Commerce, Turkish Chamber of Commerce. And thank you for Sheila Jackson Lee's office, Ms. Dani Rashid, to be here. But most of all, thank you very much, Estonians, for coming tonight. And congratulations to all of you. Finally, the election is over. Results are out. And indeed, it is a great humbling moment in my life. And I tell you that I strongly believe that the democratic process in Apna makes APNA a very strong institution. Democracy really works. And that's why I want to emphasize the democratic process in APNA makes APNA a very strong institution. APNA membership has proven today that APNA does not belong to any class. It does not belong to any individual. It does not belong to any alumni. It certainly does not belong to any interest group, but it belongs to all of you. No one should take all of you as granted. You all came out and said that the issues and ideas matter. Merit must be respected. The culture in Apna needs to change. Apna should be all inclusive and nobody left behind. I pledge you today that I'll do my utmost to do what you have asked me to do, that I do not shun your faith and trust. I promise you all that I will not let you down. I assure you that there will be no surprises and no excuses also. As a Secretary of APNA, I will ensure that the new APNA leadership says what it means and means what it says. I will take everybody in APNA on board, make sure they are included in the process, and inshallah, Together, we will march forward. Inshallah, together, we will march forward. And we will do what needs to be done for Apna. I have already demonstrated that. I ran a very clean race. And it matters. The Apna membership has appreciated for the first time that the all candidates that ran a very clean race. I have a long list of friends and supporters that I owe a great doubt to thank wherever they are in USA, Canada, and Pakistan. They tirelessly drove my campaign with great vigor 
spirit and dedication. I want them to know that you are very special and I owe you all a immeasurable depth of thanks. But my greatest hero is, however, Dr. Yaqub Sheikh, my campaign chairman. Let's give him a great plus. He not only ran a professional campaign, but ensured also my victory. Thank you, Dr. Yaqub Sheikh and family for your friendship and time and sacrifice. We have been in this journey together, a long journey, may it continue. There is one more special person that I have no words to thank, and that is my love of my life, Dr. Tasim Tadeem. Are you paying attention? <laughs> she was the reason that kept me going. She inspired me, showed me great patience, and remained with me in front throughout the campaign. She even accompanied me all international trip of Apna, all over the world. I owe every bit who I am today to my beloved mom who is present here and family and brother and sister. Thank you mom for your love, support and prayers. Mere me जो भी जरा उजाला है मेरे में जो भी जरा उजाला है वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ मेरी माँ ही का हवाला है I want to also thank Dr. Atiya Khan and MJ Khan and let me tell you when nobody was there out to support me Dr. Atiya Khan has taken and spoken about me for my candidacy and talked that I believe in the candidacy of Dr. Asaf Kadir and spoke and wrote emails at a time that nobody would come forward for that. I want to thank her personally, both her and her husband, for continued support for this now. And I am looking forward even wholehearted support for my candidacy as the president of Apna. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Amit Kareem, who has just spoken, and his wife, Dr. Asti Khan, Dr. Shkufta Nakvi, and all the host committee who did a wonderful job recently, Dr. Najma Ijaz, who tireless worked for me, Dr. Mubar Shahdi, who eloquently spoke, Dr. Nwarul Haq, who is not here, and I have so many political leaders here that I want to mention their name, Ms. Calvert, City Councillor, Nasir Malik for Justice of Peace, Arshad Dumar, and there are so many people here I want to thank that if I start taking their name, they do not end. Most of all, in thanking everybody, I have to thank Apna South Texas chapter members, all of you I'm talking about, who are present here, that your wholehearted support has really done the job for me. I am really proud that I am from Houston, and by the time my election voting started, I was overwhelmingly supported by Houston. It's not a small thing for me. To be supported and be strong from your home base is the real reason you can win election, otherwise you can't win election. And I am here asking you one more time to help me when I go for the presidency. I also want to tell you that tonight I am both proud and humbled and I am saying to you that I strongly believe that Apna good days are yet to come. I really strongly believe that this organization can do a lot. I really believe that this organization can show their muscle in the power corridors of Washington, D.C. That's why I say better days of now yet to come. You know, all it needs 
it to reinkindle, reinkindle the spirit, the great spirit of Akna in each one of us and build more of the foundation which is already there done by our predecessors and together we can surpass all boundaries if we are all inclusive and nobody left behind. जो अपना है वो सब का है और जो सब का है वो अपना है हमारी आंखों में सिर्फ यही एक सपना है और जो सपना है वो अपना है दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंकिंग दैट आई हैव हर्ड सो मेनी पीपल टुडे टॉकिंग अबाउट अपना गेटिंग इन्वॉल्व्ड इन कम्युनिटी एंड आई कैन ओनली से टू माय कम्युनिटी कि हम अपना वाले ये तो नहीं कहते हम तुमसे बड़े हैं लेकिन ये बहुत है कि कम्युनिटी के साथ खड़े वी आर ऑल विद यू वी ऑल विल मेक चैनल्स विल ऑल विल बी ऑल इंक्लूसिव क्योंकि अगर मैं इंसान होने के साथ से आपको एग्जांपल दूं, तो मैं सिर्फ एक कतरा हूँ कतरे को समुद्र तक पहुँचने के लिए दरिया के अंदर गिरना ही पड़ता है और जब तक आप कम्युनिटी में नहीं जाएंगे वो कतरा अगर इधर उधर गिर गया तो खत्म हो जाएगा दरिया में गिरेगा तो वो समुद्र तक जाएगा जब तक हम कम्युनिटी के अंदर नहीं जाएंगे हम समुद्र तक नहीं पहुंचे लेकिन समुद्र कौन है ये सोचिए कि इतने दरिया जो हैं वो सभी समुद्र में गिरते हैं समुद्र में कभी समुद्र कभी किस दरिया में नहीं गिरता अगर आप हमें अपना तो समुद्र ही समझते हैं तो आप हमें क्यों नहीं गिर जाते सोचिए थिंक अबाउट आई वॉन्ट थैंक once again for all of you who are coming here i know we have taken a lot of time to talk about this thing and one thing is very special that i want to talk to you before i leave is about the earthquake in baluchistan one week from now right here in this hall on the 9th of november the pakistani community is holding a fundraising and i want you all to come here now this is my call from apna platform to all the community balochistan earthquake fundraising is going to occur on 9 of november right there in this hall no sorry not in this hall it's in in tempora and i want you to come generously to donate money for that that gram i have bought five tables myself and they are have bought five tables itself and there are so many people who have already donated that and i want to make you appeal that we want to get a job in the community that community has to give job i want to thank you once again i want to thank you once again for being here there will be another session because congressman sheila jackson lee was due to come by 9ish and she is on her way and we have so many political leaders here and i have asked the chairman of today's that if it is possible for the sake of all of you then can he allow all of you to eat first and we can eat and then this to the all the political forum day but before that council general has to speak please bear with him and then we can eat and then we move on thank you very much yuskan i love you the generosity of what you have showered on me I need one more time to be where I want to be. Thank you, thank you, and thank you very much. It's a matter of great honor and pleasure for me to be here, <coughs> Dr. Atif Kadir and Dr. Shai Prishi. To them, their families, all supporters, and all doctors, our heartiest congratulations. May Allah bless you. such successes so that you could bring us back to this room again and again to enjoy it to celebrate <clears throat> i will not take lot of your time because i know uh, whatever time i take that would be a time between you and who but still <clears throat> i would like to share some some thoughts with you which i think can help all of us i was a little associated with apna when they met here just less than a week or just over a week ago so i i learned a few lessons 
from Apna, which I would like to share this night with you. So I saw politics in Apna, I saw economics in Apna, I saw culture in Apna, and I saw entertainment in Apna. So my suggestion to all of us, including the community leaders sitting here, and all those who want to remain united as Pakistanis, as Pakistani Americans, as a family, so I think we, we can take cue and we can take lead from Abna. So let's be a sustainable society to be helping ourselves, to be standing on our feet and not wanting others to come and unite us, not wanting others to come and sponsor us and not wanting others to be our state. So I, 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 I would suggest to all of you to learn from what happened in Abna. I have many things to say, but I keep it till, till uh, next session uh, because I'm just watching and seeing that probably there are some, some things in the community which need to be fixed. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm not a leader. I'm a very humble servant of you. I'm a public servant and we are service provider. So that is our basic responsibility and we are very humble people. So we don't take the, 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 the role of leader. We are humble servants. So you are leaders and we would like leaders to be emerging from community and we will make you strong. So whatever you want us to do behind the scene, to unite you, to make you one voice, to make you strong and visible minority in this country, we would love to do that. Just two, three things which I, which I felt are necessary for us to be reminded of. So one is, be registered voters wherever, wherever you are. Be it grassroots, be it any level. If you are voters, you are important. And in this country, voter is very important. And second is, if you are a voter, be visible voter. Be seen as somebody who is relevant. So kindly do vote wherever there is any voting taking place, not only Apna, not only Pakistani Association, locally, wherever you are living, wherever you are staying, whichever community you are interacting with, you are a potent force and you would be valued if you are together as a strong community, then people will come walking to you to be their supporters and then they will bring leaders out of you also. But by standing alone or divided, you, you are not going to be what you actually are. So we are proud of your number in the United States and we are proud of your number in Houston. But the necessary I am finding now here is that we need to remain united to be seen as a visible force. And just the last one request to all of you, be in close contact with us. As I mentioned before also, we are service providers and we need to know what we are doing is good or there are certain weaknesses. We are free to any type of criticism. Go to our website, send us the email, give us suggestions, point out our mistakes and we will not mind it at all because you matter to us. We came to Houston because you wanted us to be here. For a very long time there was no constant journal here. The constant journal here is because you wanted it to be here and you had enough strength. So we want you to be more strong to be having more stronger presence in Houston. So that is one. Two is we have a we have an open door policy. Anybody coming for anything at the consulate and any time needs not to hesitate that you come to window, say something and come back home. If you feel like meeting to any of our officers in the supervisory position, to ask the window person, he will facilitate you, he will help you, he will connect you with us. So that is what is my, my suggestion to you. And the Consulate Journal, it, in its humble capacity, I have come to know that Apna is doing great things while working with Pakistan, Pakistani doctors and different Pakistani NGOs and other organizations. So feel free uh, to be taking us a part of your team and a bridge between the doctors community here, the doctors community in Pakistan, the government of Pakistan and Apna here, the NGOs in Pakistan, and Apna here. So we don't work in isolation and we would be uh, we would be wanting to be a part of this team who is working for humanity. I thank you very much for your attention and I'm really grateful. Uh, and please, the, the way I'm, I'm 
warmly welcomed here. You all own me wherever I go, whenever I meet any one of you. So Pakistan is yours. Pakistan is your country of origin. Pakistan belongs to you and you belong to Pakistan. So own Pakistan more than you own me and my constant here. I thank you very much once again. Today from Honorable Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee's office, uh, Ms. Didri Rashid to please come down and, and say a few words. Ms. Didri Rashid. Thank you. 